and you and Brendan yep. had some added excitement. Was it Saturday night? Saturday night, the boys, the boys were out. So, so last week, if you if you were playing along at home, uh, yeah. Brendan uh, was interviewed uh, John Oates from from Holland Oates, who was you know such a good, really just a really mm -hmm. nice guy. And he showed up here uh, in Newport on uh, on Saturday night. Brendan and I went mm -hmm. to the Jane Pickens Theater to uh, awesome. to see him, and there he I is. There he is. I, kinda, is very, I love his pose the in three, this photo. Oh, it's very I don't rock know star. what it is. It's very, very rock star. Very rock star. Yes, very guys, rock star. Okay, if you look at the photo closely enough, you guys look like you have photoshopped yourself into it. Well, maybe we did. Because <laughs> the lighting, no, just because the lighting is paired so well, like he's in the in yeah, stage yeah. lighting and you guys are like just in front. It, it was, almost looks like you could pose with a It <laughs> backdrop. was a super fun night out, thanks to the uh, the folks at Audrain who do just an uh, uh, incredible job with all of the events that they that they work on. This was a fundraiser for Audrain. If you haven't been to the Audrain uh, Museum in Newport, you need to go. Um, yeah, we had we had a really just a good time. It was it was nice being out on a Saturday night and hearing great music uh, from uh, from these guys. And is he good live? Because so many he of us have grown up. I was going to say for decades we've been really listening to the cassettes and the nope. CD. You know, now I we're did. streaming. Yeah. Still great live, yeah. Brendan. Do you yeah. agree? Yes, and the guitar player with him, Guthrie Trapp. So good. At one point, Guthrie Trapp's doing this solo when Will goes, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> he probably went right over to me, Michaela, he goes, <laughs> I, 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 I was like, I was like, he is very good. He yeah. was extremely blown away. Yeah, he uh, was really good. But yeah, and, uh, in the photo, John Oates looks like a defensive tackle, ready to, uh, on the football field. Oh, yeah, he's ready. <laughs> but how, uh, we felt like such big shots, Will. We the did. show's over, and who comes? Out from backstage to say hello to these two dopes, the Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, John Oates. Right. And we, we loved the show. We told him how much we enjoyed it. And we said, may we have a photo? He said, of nice. course. And we said, you want us to come up? He goes, no, I'll get right down here and awesome. take the photo. That, well, that's your new cover photo for Oates and Dopes. That, yeah. <laughs> exactly. But like you <laughs> said, Will, a uh, big thanks to them. Yeah, it was we so nice. It was love, fun. Lovely it time. Was a good night. Great theater. So thanks to all involved. Well, guys. Over the weekend, the yes. NCAA basketball yeah, right. tournament continued. Sadly, my beloved PC Friars fell to those dastardly Kansas Jayhawks. Now, as crushed as I am over the loss, let's give it up for Coach Cooley, his assistants, and the remarkable players for just an incredible season. The studio audience, sit down, guys. We don't it have was, time. It was close, too. It was a very close oh, game. It's unbelievable. Now, I may not be the mayor of Friartown, but I think I can speak for all all of Friartown when I say how proud we are of this group of young men. All Very kidding aside, so. Will, I know you like to chuckle at me. Maybe I should be the mayor of Friartown. You should be. <laughs> but uh, just a remarkable year. Now, I know that Roadshow viewers haven't been able to sleep all weekend. They've had to consult with specialists. Their collective hearts have been a flutter. Why, you ask? Why we ask? No, not because the Friars were eliminated, but because they have desperately cr been craving, waited, waiting with bated breath for the latest update for Roadshow Basketball Bonanza. <laughs> All right, <laughs> guys, our regular viewers may uh, are already familiar with this, but for those of you who do not know, I will break down Roadshow Basketball Bonanza for you right here. A few weeks ago, against my better judgment, I had most of the Roadshow crew make their predictions. Mm -hmm. Bragging rights are on the line. Okay to see who could accurate, accurately predict the most winners for Roadshow Basketball Bonanza. I have your update, folks. Are you okay. ready? I can't wait. Wait till you hear this. Again, I know you haven't been able to sleep all weekend, but here we go in fifth place. There have been a grand total of 64 games played so far. Bonnie Bryden with 26 out of 64. All right. All right. Bonnie has been very nervous. I told her not to worry. Really, who cares in the long run, right? <laughs> Tied in fourth place, Will Gilbert okay. and Roadshow executive producer Ashley Erling with 34 out of 64. Well, that's so all bad. right, we're more than 50 percent. Not so bad for people who don't know a thing about anything. <laughs> that's what this is all about, right? Okay, in third place, Roadshow co-host Michaela Johnson with 36 out of 64. Nice all right, I'll nice take job. it. Did your son? I still don't even know who I picked. <laughs> Did your son make your predictions? <laughs> um, actually, he did for our family bracket. Okay. <laughs> I maxed out at like 30 points. <laughs> In second place, yours truly, Brendan Kirby with 40 out of 64. Thank nice. you very much. Wow. And in first place by one. Roadshow Ooh. producer Mary Corrales with 41 out of 64. Wow. Now, okay. I've done some calculations. I can catch her to take the okay. overall title. Okay. So 
On Tuesday of next week, guys, we will have our final results for what? Oh, Road, Road, Road Show, Show Basketball, Basketball Bonanza. Bonanza. <laughs> there you go. Well, we uh, nice.